ARCHICAD 29 is out and I reviewed it the other week, but more importantly, the ultimate ARCHICAD template has now been upgraded to ARCHICAD 29. Let me show you what's brand new in this month's edition. With ARCHICAD 29 open for the first time on this computer, you'll see it generally opens the product tools and the quick tutorials. Don't need any of them. We're making our own tutorials. So what you're going to see is we're looking at the brand new ARCHICAD 29. And if you've been a long time subscriber here and have downloaded my work environment, you're going to notice this work environment looks entirely different. And that's because all of the icons in ARCHICAD 29 have just been manipulated and tweaked just that little bit to make them more annoying and not fit where they used to. So what I've gone and done is readjusted the entire work environment and created an ARCHICAD 29 work environment folder in the downloads for Patreon. So you guys can get this set up exactly the same. If it's the first time you're doing it, ARCHICAD work environment, work environments, and then simply go import and find the work environment V29. After that, you'll notice we are in dark mode, which is finally here for Mac OS. Now, ARCHICAD has been promising dark mode in Mac OS for almost three or four years now, but it's finally here. And because it's 7.40 at night when I'm recording this video and my computer automatically switches from light and dark mode, we are in dark mode today. As part of this update, I've gone through, made sure all the line weights, all the pen settings are still exactly the same and all of the objects perform exactly as they should. What's going on team? My name's David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia and I'll jump in the middle to let you know what the Ultimate Archicad template is all about. If you've never been here before, the Ultimate Archicad template is a custom one-of-a-kind template that I've been building out from scratch for several months now. Every single month, I drop a brand new update to the template. This means either new library parts, new wall types, keynotes, or anything in between. Every month, it gets significantly better. And better yet, it's all through Patreon at a ridiculously cheap price. So if you're interested, make sure you check out the link down in the description below. Now, if you are new here, again, on the right-hand side in our view map, you're gonna see a couple things that are different from your standard template. First of all, we have our resources file with site and landscaping, pen, sets, cabinetry, both 2D and 3D, which I really should be creating a new folder for objects to separate cabinetry out. So let's just go ahead and create that objects folder. We'll drag these 3D objects into objects. And in actual fact, we don't need a 3D folder at all. So we'll just have an objects folder now. If you've never been here before, 2D details, bench tops, preferred engineered stone details, a whole bunch of custom 2D details provided for you. If I quickly scroll through them, you'll see there is plenty to choose from just in that bench top section. Then of course we have baseboards, overhead cupboards, custom cabinetry hardware, and plumbing details. So we have a plethora of 2D details for your choosing in your documentation package. We also have a series of objects lined up as favorites here. Now, the reason I've done it this way, instead of doing it in the favorites panel in the objects library is because often I'm pairing multiple things and you can't group together in the objects library. Instead here you'll see we have a sync mixer from the custom ABI library. Then we have the cabinetry as well. So it's a two part object because the sync mixer is critical to 3D renders. I wanna have a good quality 3D object, not just the standard stuff that comes in ARCHICAD. I've also gone ahead and updated all of the new kitchen cabinetry in this model to align with the ARCHICAD 29 update. So make sure when you do update ARCHICAD 29 of the ultimate ARCHICAD template, you also go into ARCHICAD file libraries, library manager, and just add the ARCHICAD 29 library packs rather than the 28 library packs. On the topic of libraries, you'll also see a brand new Tomich library element has come into the mix, the 06 Patreon made. And I haven't added these to the objects panel just yet because Sarah on Patreon has been ever so kind and generous to donate some of her custom 3D objects that she's created and also fixed for me as well. So let's have a quick look. If we open up our settings for our objects, we can come down to Sarah H and you'll see a couple awesome items. So of course we have a full 3D custom ceiling fan. These are really hard to come by in ARCHICAD and she's done a great job modeling them. We have a couple options for these ceiling fans as well. 84 cent diameter, 60 diameter and 52 diameter. Overall, you know, that scales up into millimeters. She's also been generous enough to fix the FH draw table 
than I talked about in one of my previous videos because the 2D symbol was just terrible and the 3D object just needed some fine tuning. But better yet, for all of us Australians out there, we now have a double GPO custom made to suit Australian standards and the Australian plug. And we also have a single GPO available to us. Now, the catch at the moment is you need the hotspot placement tool loaded in your library for the 3D models to show, but that overall isn't too complicated. So thank you, Sarah, for donating some of these amazing parts. If anybody else would like to donate their Archicad objects through Patreon, I'll be more than happy to upload it into the template and give other users around the world the access and ability to use it in their projects as well. Last but not least, in this month's update of the Archicad 29 update, besides the fact that I've gone through and double-checked everything I've placed in the template so far to make sure it is compatible with Archicad 29, which is a mission in itself, is of course a few keynote tweaks and updates. So document keynotes, you see that we have all of our part one keynotes included in here, as well as a couple extras thrown in the mix now. I have tried to go ahead and fix the annoying irritation I talked about last time, where we had a check on site key and we could only always activate the key, we couldn't activate the title. They said they did something about it, they didn't do anything about it. So it's still a bit of a tricky workaround to get the title in your keys where you need them. But nevertheless, it's all coming together, all the pens are correct, all aligning to Gideon's desk, international pen standards, of course, and then just converted into the top black and white standard. Now, if you don't know the Tomage black and white standard, it's using Gideon's same concept of rows and columns. Obviously, most of them are blacked out in grayscale, but then we have a few select colors on the right hand side to really be able to tie in our drawings nice and neat. Last but not least, obviously, Things change, things adjust with software updates from Arcad 28 to 29. So I've also gone ahead and made sure the title blocks are still working for our A1 cover, A2, A3, and the dock transmittal is coming soon, I promise. So cover sheets all working, all objects working, all parts working. The ultimate Arcad template just got so much better in Arcad 29. Anyway, that's all for me, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next week.